Hello everyone. So today I'll be discussing with you about a brand new feature of Salesforce that will be a part of summer 24 release. So as part of this feature, now you can have custom action buttons on your screen flows. As you can see under the input section of this screen flow, there is a new option available, which is a beta feature actually called action buttons. Let me drag it on the screen canvas. See, so previously we used to have this standard buttons called pause, previous and finish, but now we can have our own custom action buttons. This was a much needed upgrade, I would say, and this is one of the greatest uh, feature of Salesforce that have been introduced newly. So what I will do is as part of this video, I'll create a whole functionality as I usually do and leverage this function, this feature of Salesforce in order to understand about this newly uh, introduced feature. So that will also give you some understanding on how you can use this feature. Plus you will get some hands on experience on getting it implemented for your own functionality. So before we get started, let me tell you that if this feature is not yet available in your org, then what you can do is you can go to this URL. I will def definitely provide this URL in, in the description of this video. And from here you can request for a brand new Salesforce org, which is which has summer 24 release already enforced into it. So there might be chances like your org is not yet does not yet have summer 24 release. So you can request for it one from here. So let's get started. Basically, what will I do is we'll have a custom screen on our home page where we'll provide a search option to the user in order to search for contacts. We'll provide the search key. And when that user clicks on this button, our result of all the search contacts will be shown on the screen. This is the functionality that I have thought of. So we'll implement this here. So first of all, what I'll do is from this, I mean, from this action buttons, we can actually call subflows, other existing flows, which are mostly auto launched flows, which will perform our action upon click of this button. So what we'll do is we'll first create the subflow that will be called from this action. So this, this action will call that flow in order to perform that uh, searching of the results. So for that, you have to create a new flow basically that will be a auto launch kind of flow with no trigger, obviously. So you just need to create a new flow, create from scratch. And this is the one, this flow you have to create. So just to save time, I have already created one that will perform my action element like fetching the contact records based on the search key that has been provided. Okay, so here is my already created flow. This is a very simple one. Almost all of you have used these elements previously as well. So here I have a get records element. What it will do is it will simply get the contact records based on the search key. So I have first before creating this get record, I should have one variable created here. And this is the definition of that variable. It this most importantly available for input should be checked because this parameter will be passed from my screen flow, the parent screen flow. And you can name it anything and it should be a text type of variable and it will be available for input. This is the property that you have to create. Then simply uh, drag the get records element, choose the object as contact. And these are the parameters. I mean, these are the conditions that needs to be filled. Like first name contains the search key or last name contains. So I can search the contact based on first name or last name. So if any of these matches with the key search key, it will simply fetch those records and make sure you check this all records this option okay and simply it will fetch the one and one another step you have to do is like you have to assign those contact records to a variable why do we need to assign it because we have to return these records to our screen flow the parent one so again you have to create a, another property or a variable and the the properties will be like it should be a list of records as you can see data type is record this allow multiple values collection is checked and the object is contact now again most important available for output should be checked because this is the variable that will be returned to my parent component that is the screen flow so this auto launch flow as i will also open this assignment operation as well you are simply whatever has been queried you are simply assigning it to this contact list variable and this is available for output 
so it can be fetched from the screen component parent component so this is a very simple auto launch flow simply it retrieves the records based on the search key and the search key will be provided by the parent component and then simply assigns the search records or the retrieved records to a variable which is marked as available for output. Now we will proceed ahead from this. So we'll go back to our screen flow here. So before having a custom action button, we'll have a input text input to take the input from the user. Let's bring it on top. Okay, here let's name it as search search which would be a required one and i think that set so the user will provide some value into it to search the contacts then upon click of this button the contacts will be retrieved so let's name it as search contact the name of this, this button and we'll call our subflow and the name of the flow was fetch and return contact detail this is the name of the flow so we will just call that sub flow from here upon click of this button this auto launch flow will be triggered and we can set the properties like this so as you can see it is asking for search key value i mean there was a variable here called search key it is available for input and that is why it is appearing on my let me close this uh, that is why it is appearing on my properties here when I'm calling that action. So I'll provide the search key as same as whatever the user puts on the search bo text box. So this is the one screen component. So whatever the user inputs there, I will just providing that value into the search key property. Enter a value or select a resource to provide an huh. Okay. So this is the value I'm providing. Up. So I'm calling this subflow from this action, providing this search key as an input parameter so that the sub pro can use this value to retrieve the contacts. Now let's open this view output resources. So as you can see this contact list, these are the outputs that will be returned from my sub flow or the auto launch flow. So what all it will return? It will return the flow interview status, whether it is failed or completed, finished. Then the GUID, it's a unique ID for every flow interview and also the contact list so this is the variable that we had created here which has available for output so this will be returned to my parent component here and here you can see to reference the output values from this action reference the results field and then select one of the listed outputs will i will help you understand what is what is what it is talking about Okay, so this custom action configuration is done. Now, what we will do with the result that will be returned from there, from the auto launch flow. I will click, I will put something on the search bar, click the action, but action button. It will return me some results. Now, how will I know what results have been returned? So for that, I will use a data table to display on the same page here. So data table is nothing but it will display the data in the form of table that's it so let me name it as contact details and return i mean let's name the table as contacts use label as the heading of the table now we have to provide the list of records that needs to be displayed in this table okay it should always be a list so as i said how you can i i mean how you can fetch those results that have been returned by, by my auto launch flow when the action button was clicked. Okay, so here as you can see, this is the screen component. Uh, I mean the sub flow that we have called. Under this, there is a tab called results. Then we have to go inside it. And this is the contact. This is the variable that stores all the list of my contacts that have been retrieved. We have to use this list as part of our data table now we have to do some configurations like okay let me move it here <laughs> and under configurations uh configure rows so whether you want to allow the user to select the rows so i would select a single so i mean only one record one row can be selected from the list of data all right now 
under configure columns you have to provide the names of the columns that the data that needs to be populated so let's populate whatever whatever has been written from that we have to select those attributes that we want to display on the table as columns so this is one column first name add another column let's name i mean that let's take last name of the contact and then we'll we'll simply add three or four columns just for demo purpose then email right Mm, then phone these are the key information about a contact so we will display this information now we have done the configuration of a data table basically we have to provide the list from where the data will be shown to this table then the rows i mean how many rows can a user select it should be i am selected single you can make it as view only so no rows can be selected then these are the columns that needs to be displayed also i'll make it conditional like only i want to show this data table when the results have been received so let's give it a condition uh, okay so on show this data table only when the results was returned from the subflow so on that this okay is success so this will show us show us that this auto launch flow was successfully run after click of this button true this will be the only condition all right and also we have not named it properly let's name the custom button as search contacts this is it now our configuration is almost done so let me summarize it very quickly we have a search bar that will take the input from the user uh, to search the contacts and then we have a custom action button which calls this subflow and passes the search key as an input parameter to that flow and that subflow will fetch the contacts based on the first name or last name if it is matches with the search key and simply we are this uh, and the results that will be returned basically the contact list that we are displaying here in the form of data table all this configuration is done let's save this and i will name this as uh, custom action screen flow let's save it and i will just activate it i'll go to the home page refresh the screen and add this component into my home page here let's search for flows okay flow on top here we'll search our flow name which is custom action screen okay this is the one All right let's save it activate it as well mm -hmm. it's taking some time okay make it as all default for now save okay let me go back to the main screen so here we have our flow here with a search bar and a custom button now you don't see the data table but let me just give some value let's say i don't know how many contacts are there i'll just enter k so let's see if there are any contacts with either first name or last name having a term k in their name search contacts all right here you can see the data table displayed you have the option to select as well now you can perform any other activity as per your needs but this was my whole purpose to show how these custom buttons will now be helpful. Let me change my search parameter to P. Let's see. Okay, now, now my search results is changed. So isn't it very important? Uh, I mean, I would say it is. it was a much needed uh, feature in our screen flows that we should have the capability to introduce the custom action buttons. Previously, we used to I mean embed lightning web components or aura components to achieve this functionality but now it is fully available in the screen flow itself so i hope this was clear please subscribe the channel if you like it and i would definitely help uh, giving answers to your queries if you have any in the comment section thank you